Well, you know, the internet is just brilliant at what's happening now, whatever the current trends are, whatever your friends are talking about today or tomorrow. But, you know, sometimes you're a little less interested in tomorrow and a little more interested in yesterday. Well, we found a spot on the internet that is literally filled with yesterday. We're going to take you on a tour that's this week on The Link. Well, hello and welcome back. Doug Bernard in studio with you again. Always great to have you here. Well, you know, when I was just a little squirt, there was a cartoon on television that I loved. It featured a little boy, his talking dog, and their time machine. Like I said, it was a cartoon. Uh, and the time machine was they called the Wayback Machine, and it could take them to any point in previous history, and of course, hijinks would ensue. Well, we found something of an internet Wayback Machine today. It's a website called archive.org. Technically, it's known as the Internet Archive. That's the name of it. It's a private corporation working out in San Francisco. Uh, but their web address is very simple, just www.archive.org. Their motto, universal access to all knowledge. Now, there's all kinds of material, millions of files uh, on this, I sound like Carl Sagan, uh, on this site. Uh, text files, uh, video files, movie files, sound files, just about everything. And by the way, the brilliant part about this is that all of these are copyright cleared. So you can take these files, you can download them, you can embed them, you can do whatever you want with them because they're all free of copyright. Well, we, as I said, we thought we'd take you on a bit of a tour here. So the first stop here, moving images, over 300,000 movies in here. I went for something old. I just put in FDR, and one of the first things that came up was this news conference from 1935, the president signing the Social Security Act. Today, a hope of many years standing is in large part fulfilled. The civilization of the past hundred years well, you know, all I can say is that uh, press conferences have changed a lot uh, <laughs> since 1935. But again, there's all kinds of uh, movies, really from the earliest dates, uh, that you'll find on here as well. There are two and a half million books as well, all of them copyright cleared, many of them very old. So I went for just sort of a random old book at possible, and I came up with this. Now, this is these are scans of the actual books themselves. This is an old book called Goody Two Shoes. As I click through it, uh, I'll actually be able to click through and see the actual scans of the books themselves. I can zoom in as well so you can see, uh, you can read the text, uh, I can flip through the pages as well. Here are all the images. By the way, if you're ever wondering where this term goody two-shoes came from, well, here it is. This is the original book, uh, and you can read it online. You can download it. You can do what you will with it as well. There's lots of audio. There's, uh, there's spoken audio, uh, readings of the Quran, poetry, all that kind of thing. Uh, and there's lots of live music, too. So this is Jack Johnson just recently at the Bonnaroo Festival, actually two years ago at the Bonnaroo Festival. Meh. Not exactly my cup of tea, but a decent recording, and if it is your cup of tea, you can do with it as you will. You can download it, you can just listen to it online. I think, however, one of the most brilliant parts of this website is what they call literally the Wayback Machine. I wonder where they got that title from. Basically, it is a compendium of web captures of websites, billions of websites, throughout the years. There are over 150 billion web catchers, captures in here. So I'm just going to type in uh, voanews.com, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of captures. Well, the earliest they have here listed now is November 9, 2000. I think there were uh, captures from before that, but if we go back, this is what uh, our website looked like on November 9, uh, 2000. And look at that, we're still talking about the presidential <laughs> ballot in Florida. Hmm. Some things you really don't mess with the passing of time. Anyway, just about any website that you can imagine, it's probably been captured uh, throughout the years, and the archive can all be found in here. And all of this, and a whole lot more, is at the web address archive.org. Take some time, I know you'll have a, there's a lot there. Uh, and if you're not interested in anything that you find there, well, I don't think anything is going to interest you. Uh, well, that is the link for this week. Thanks so much for being with us. And remember, we do love hearing from us, from you. You can write to us. Our web address is very simple. It's just the link at voanews.com. Do take a moment uh, and drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Well, that is the link for this week. Take care, and we'll see you again real soon.